Hi, I'm Nancy Lurker. I'm the CEO of iPoint Pharmaceuticals. We're an ophthalmology-focused drug delivery company, and I'll be speaking with you today about our DuraCert technology, which has been well-proven in four FDA-approved products, and we have a very exciting pipeline using that technology as well. I'm happy to present iPoint and a couple of quick comments. We are a publicly traded company, so if this is our forward-looking statement, you can access it on our website. As I mentioned, we are an ocular disease-focused company with a very well-validated technology. We call it DuraCert, and I'll be speaking about that today. It shows a sustained release technology that is zero-order kinetics, and that's very important as we look at treating some of these eye diseases. We have two drugs on the market today, Utique and DexaQ. Utique uses our DuraCert technology. DexaQ uses our proven Verisome technology. But today I'll be talking about DuraCert. And then our pipeline, we have our very exciting EYP1901, which is our potential six-month sustained release anti-VEGF treatment for wet AMD using our validated DuraCert technology. Now, turning to our pipeline, we have two products on the market today, DexaQ, which we are focused on cataract surgery that uses our proven Verisome technology, but that technology is more focused on anterior drug delivery and it's a suspension. And then we have Utique, which is our DuraCert technology, and that is indicated for three years for the treatment for chronic non-infectious uveitis. Again, I'll be speaking a little bit more about this because it is a highly important disease that we're treating over a three-year time frame. We also are in the clinic with our Utique 5 which is our six-month short-duration treatment for chronic non-infectious uveitis, again, using our DuraCert technology. And really importantly is our EYP1901, which is our six-month anti-VEGF treatment for wet AMD using our bioerodible DuraCert technology. Of note is that we have numerous companies approaching us, and more than ever now, asking if we can take their small molecule and put it in our DuraCert technology. We've got a number of collaborations we've already started. And again, we do partner with people to develop their drugs in our bioerodible DuraCert technology. So this is our DuraCert delivery technology, as I mentioned to you. You can see off to the right-hand side, that's the actual size on a finger. And you can see it's very, very small. It's a beautiful design. It provides sustained delivery of small molecules to the back of the eye. And we can extend this from months to years. We now have it bioerodable. Um, and the nice thing is it can be administered in the physician's office. As I mentioned, most importantly, we have four FDA-approved drugs with tens of thousands of patients now having this technology in their eye, and we've got a very, very positive safety track record over the years now. So we're very confident in the ability of this drug delivery to provide safe and efficacious delivery of small molecules. And of course, as I mentioned in the pipeline is our EYP1901, our Utique 5 and then we have numerous partner programs as well. So here's the actual drug delivery. You can see this is using the Utique design, which is non-erodible. That's a polyamide tube. PVA is mixed with the API inside. We have a drug eluting core. And as you can see, um, this is actually an insertion into a, a color fundus photo right after insertion of Utique. And you can see it's sitting there in the eye, but it does not Hardly ever, if ever, bother the patient's vision. It tends to float down below the field of vision and just sits there eluding out over three years. This particular patient had their vision improved to 2040 after being treated 11 times with short-acting intravitreal steroids. And here's another OCT examination of a patient two months after you take injection. And even for those non-physicians in the audience, I think you can tell the difference between what looks like a healthy eye um, uh, after treatment, and certainly what looks like an unhealthy eye before treatment. And again, you can see very nice resolution. This patient wanted to become pregnant, and they've been treated with immunotherapy, which, as you know, is contraindicated for pregnancy, and she's doing very well on UT. This is our beautiful Kaplan-Meier curve. Uh, this actually shows UT over three years. You can see the nice differentiation between standard of care over a three-year time period in the incidence of recurrent uveitic flares. And that's what causes these patients to go blind. And you can see again that we consistently suppress those flares. And once you get out to three years, 
you see those flares pop right up to standard of care, and that's because the implant is depleted. So again, we're, we're very, very nice effect that you get with using Duracert and Utique. Now turning importantly to our 1901 product candidate, this particular uh, drug we're very excited about. It's for wet AMD. And we all know that treating um, wet AMD over a longer period of time is crucial. And the reason is because of this curve, which is a retrospective observational study, which just recently was published in the British Journal of Ophthalmology, showing that even with patients that are treated with anti-VEGF therapy in real world, they just keep losing their eyesight. And why is that? Because nobody wants to go in and, and can go in consistently every month or every two months and get their eye injected. So it's really important that we try to come up with fewer injections that maintain therapy over a longer period of time. Now, what we're excited about is Verolanib. It is an anti-VEGF. It blocks at the receptor. It's got a broad effect. It's a tyrosine kinase inhibitor. You can see the biochemical selectivity on the VEGF R2 receptor. Very, very similar to sunitinib. Very nice suppression or IC50 at that receptor site. And you can see using Verolanib orally in this phase one study, we had very nice results delivered orally. As you find with these TKIs, of course, it had some systemic side effects. And that's why we're now developing EnduraCert for delivery into the intravitreous. And here we show the PK curve. And this is the nice thing about EnduraCert. You're getting a beautiful zero order release over 180 days using Verolanib in Duracert, and we call that EYP-1901. We're quite excited about where we are with this. Uh, we're on track to deliver um, our IND to the FDA by the end of this year, and hopefully we'll be able to dose our first patient uh, the first part of first quarter. So again, we're ocular disease focused. We've got a very compelling pipeline, especially with EYP-1901 two products on the market using our drug delivery technology, and Duracert is really the gold standard now in delivering validated a technology to the back of the eye in a, in a safe and efficacious way. So again, thank you for your time. Uh, we feel that like we've got a very compelling value proposition, and most importantly, uh, what we're able to deliver to patients to help with their serious eye diseases. And a big shout out and a thank you to OIS for this opportunity. Thank you.